Well, this all started uh, in 1984 or 1985 when uh, I was chairman of the East West Gateway Coordinating Council. I said that we were going to uh, address two priorities. One would be Metrolink and two would be the bridges connecting uh, Missouri and Illinois. Uh, I appointed a bridge study committee that was chaired by Earl Lazarson from SIU Edwardsville, who was the chancellor. Uh, they conducted a study of the bridges in the area, determined that we needed to remove the toll off the Martin Luther King Bridge and the McKinley Bridge and in fact make the necessary repairs, but in addition that we should pursue funding for a new Mississippi River Bridge. Uh, that was in 84 or 85. I was elected to Congress in 1988 and it became one of my priorities. Working with the Illinois Congressional Delegation and our counterparts from Missouri, we were able to uh, fast forward and in the end secure the largest earmark, $239 million dollars uh, from Washington DC in the last six-year highway bill uh, in order to construct this bridge. Uh, we were told by Illinois and Missouri that unless there were federal funds the bridge would not become a reality. Uh, so we secured the funding and then the state of Illinois and the state of Missouri came together. The lion's share of the money, the balance uh, was paid by the taxpayers of Illinois and uh, I'm just, this is a very proud day for our region, a proud day for me and everyone who had a part in making uh, this bridge a reality and in particular I'm very proud of the fact that it's named after our veterans. Uh, they deserve uh, the recognition they are getting for serving our country and, and serving our nation.